We have to stay long. I whined while pressing the front bell of a building on 13th Street and Broadway. How long do these full moon thingies last, anyway? A few hours, Mary shushes me, clutching a candle, our gift, to her chest. It was the witchiest thing we could think of, besides a cat. But bringing an animal as a dinner gift might be considered a little bit weird. Stop being a baby, Mary continues. This is exciting, our first real witch experience. I just wish you hadn't made us 10 minutes late. The truth is, I am a little excited. Mary and I have never been invited to anything witchy before. Since Mom only just this year told us about our powers, she had to after Mary accidentally brought a lobster back to life at a formal dinner. We haven't had any exposure to the witchcraft community. In fact, until Mary discovered the website mywitchbook.com, we weren't even sure there was a witchcraft community. It would be great to have people I could talk to about all this magic stuff then the secret wouldn't always be bubbling inside me, threatening to overflow. I buzz a second time. The early September breeze blows through my shirt. No one's home. Are you sure this is the right place? Maybe they're already on the roof, Mary says. It's kind of rude of them not to answer the bell, don't you think? It's kind of rude to be 10 minutes late, Mary counters. 10 minutes isn't late. Everyone knows you have a 15 minute window. You'd think that, Mary says, since you're always late. Let's call her. She whips out her.